It's good hummus. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> There's something on that. You'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. Welcome back to kind of a weekly vlog. Excuse my hair. It is Sunday today, it's 8.30. Showered, moisturized, fresh fake tan on. About to go get a coffee because I have no food in my house. Feels so weird to not be flying out super early. I feel like every international flight I've had, we've always flown out in the morning. So the morning to get up, go to the airport. Whereas our flight is at 9 p.m. So we don't have to be at the airport until tonight. So it's kind of like, not anti-climactic, but you wake up, you're like, oh my god, we're going. But you have to like wait for the whole day. With that said, I do feel like today is gonna go so quickly. So I wanna make sure I'm prepared. I need to like finish packing, I think, so I can just chillax. Chillax? I'm pretty much organized, I think. I just need to pack my like toiletries and makeup and all those things because obviously I've been using them throughout the week. Um, and then yeah, then we're gonna head to the airport. I think Elisa's gonna meet me there. And I think my parents are gonna take me. But yeah, I'm super, super excited. Anyway. First things first. Oh, phenomenal. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. up we've been traveling for about 30 hours i guess because first flight was 14 then we had six hours in dubai and then we had although that flight was only it was meant to be eight hours but i think it ended up being around seven. Oh, i'm getting to that really like delirious tired now we've made it to the hotel checked in everything's good i'm sorry i didn't vlog more like the whole traveling part but honestly it's pretty boring been sat down for the past 24 hours essentially and i am so keen to take a shower elise is just in the shower now oh but it's about, what's the time? I think it's like five o'clock or, oh, my angel number. It's 5.55. Hopefully if we can get to sleep at a reasonable hour tonight, we'll wake up feeling really good, to, really good tomorrow. Um, and the plan is that we're gonna go explore. With, I don't know if we're gonna go explore kind of this afternoon, not this afternoon. I don't even know, it's so bright still. I really don't know, I feel quite delirious actually. It's kind of just hitting me now. Driving from Heathrow um, to our hotel, I was just looking at everything like, oh my goodness, like it's so cool. We had some glasses of Prosecco that we were given on arrival, which was really nice. Oh my God, my eyes are so red and my skin is just breaking out like crazy. I've been in the same clothes for the past two days. Um, I desperately need to have a shower. But we're here, we've arrived, and I'm gonna take you guys along this journey with me. So, enjoy. Okay, I decided to get a poke bowl. <gasps> there were like 22 options for poke bowls, which I'm so excited. And I, I made my own, I just added everything. Got a giant cake, and I'm gonna dig into this, and then probably go to bed. Watching <laughs> some great British bake off. Elise is waiting for her food that hasn't arrived. I've had my poke bowl. Oh, I'm kind of cold actually. And it is 7.30 and we're probably going to go to bed. But I feel like, yeah, if we have a really good sleep, we'll wake up feeling fresh as a daisy tomorrow. Good morning. It is currently 12 past 7. Elise has been up since what time? 3. 3. I woke up at about 5.30, which is pretty good. I mean, I, I wake up early anyway, so it's like, eh. And feeling pretty fine. We're absolutely starving, just gotten ready. My hair is like not cooperating because I've got like 3 million layers of dry shampoo in there at the moment. So I don't know 
like what to do with it like my fringe is just being annoying i don't know you guys have been sending me so many messages saying like it's really hot it's really cold don't worry about it but we both find it's pretty cold it's freezing like who it's God's seven degrees thinks that seven degrees is warm. like it is never seven degrees in brisbane ever like I maybe once in a blue moon things, but, but at like dead of winter anyway so this is what lovely london looks like right now so i think we're just gonna go look for somewhere to get some breakfast i feel like a lot of places don't open early whereas in australia or like around us Cafes open at like the crack of dawn, like 5 a.m. Boom, they're open. So that's interesting. But places equally stay open so much later than places around us. Like shops close at like 5 p.m. Things were open super late. So yeah, I'll show you my outfit. Actually, everything I'm wearing is from Princess Polly. So little crop, my favorite pants, Nike Air Forces, and then just a blazer as my jacket. Hopefully that will suffice for warmth. It felt so nice to put on some like makeup this morning. Cause obviously we haven't been wearing makeup for the past like 48 hours. So put some sunnies on. And then I'm gonna take this Naked Advice bag. So I found a cafe called like Pret Amonja or something like that. I'm so excited to like get outside. <laughs> now about 12 30 we got back maybe like in just under an hour ago just been chilling a little bit our fridge in the room i don't know if i've said it's not working um we asked the like reception to help us fix it we also got some snacks from sainsbury's but we're about to go out and do a bit of shopping i think the weather is honestly phenomenal it's super sunny i'm actually so glad i brought this jacket because it's really cute i got on like trackies wait let me show you this mirror i've just got on track pants a little beige crop and then the jacket from seed it's hot in the sun and it's really cold in the shade Ooh. now i'm honestly thinking that i didn't bring well it's probably good that i didn't bring too many things because i feel like i really want to do some shopping and just get some bits and bobs we're gonna go out again and hit the hay hit the hay <laughs> i need to hit the hay but honestly, loving it so far, like just walking around and seeing everything, it's so crazy. Typical tourist things. So tonight, I don't know where we'll go for dinner, but we'll find somewhere. So. I belong, I belong to you. Take me to your soul. All right, so we've got another poke <laughs> I think just because I don't eat these a lot at home. And I love them. So it's a different one than I got last night. Because I thought, let's like at least switch up the place. I don't know if you can tell, but like my eyes are so red. Elise is ooh, also equally very tired. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll be, oh God, look at me. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll be like a little bit more adjusted. I mean, we did have a huge day. We walked over, I reckon like 25,000 steps. And we got up at like 5.30 and it's like 8 o'clock now. So I think it just feels so strange because the sun doesn't set until really late, which is so confusing <laughs> to my brain. It's really cool. What have we got here? There's some noi. We went to a place called Itsu for lunch, which was actually very delicious. Very nice. So this is from a place called Poke House. That's what it looks like. Can't even see. And we've got... Prawns, salmon. Holy moly, that's spicy. There's a like a mini fridge or like a bar fridge in this room, but there was nothing in it. Every hotel that I've ever stayed at, the fridge is like cold. Like it's not super cold, but I was like s almost certain that this fridge was off or it wasn't working. But when they rang, I, I don't know if I, like, I was being confusing or what, but essentially they sent us up, if you can see over there, like a mini fridge. <laughs> They gave us an actual mini fridge so we could put like bottles of water in it and like we've got some grapes and a few snacks just so we can have them on hand. Because I don't know, the like hotels here not have like mini fridges in them that are like cold. Yeah, we still need to go and see like uh like landmarks. Haven't done that yet, but this was our first day. So, oh, I dropped that. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. I went to go turn the light on this morning, but I was like, I don't know which one's the bathroom light. And I didn't want to like accidentally turn on. Right. So it's the one left. No, it's the right one. Oh, it's the right one. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, it is like 6 day. I was like, we need to sleep in today. I woke up at like 4.30, I think. And as soon as I woke up, I was like, shit, I'm awake now. I'm about to just get ready. It is Wednesday today, which is wild. I feel like time is just going so quickly. I think the plan for this morning is we're gonna walk to Buckingham Palace, have a look at that, as you do. And then a bar of soap. And then we're gonna go to Notting Hill. I'm so sad about my earring closing up. Look at that, like re-pierced. All right, I'm gonna get ready and then I'll check back in with you guys in a second. We're at Buckingham Palace. She looks pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird, literally. <laughs> you want a photo like that? Can you get any closer? Yeah, of course you can. People, well, you can get like right up. I reckon the without the like construction stuff, but they seem to be doing a bit of construction at the moment. Pretty fancy gate, if you ask me. The lads want to run. Why am I falling? We are just walking through a little park. It's not little. We're walking to the London Eye, I think. <gasps> Look at that dog. He's. Oh my god, he's such a good boy. He's on the stump. <laughs> Guys, stay up there, please. Stay up there. Everyone is out and about on a run. <gasps> Look at them all. Oh my god, there's so many dogs. Stop. I miss Charlie. Look at the guy on the. Actually, see, the camera makes me look less of a weirdo. Like, because it looks like I'm just taking photos. Guys, look, it's Big Ben. Still. There's Elise. She's currently freezing. Whoa. How cool. I don't know. There's, I think this, the London there's this guy as well. It's nice on a night when it's like obviously all lit up and there's yeah. like street lights and everything because everywhere's quite dark and that's just really bright. That's so yeah. cool. Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, we've just arrived at Gymshark HQ. <laughs> it's so big. The Uber driver was like, which one do you want to go to? There's three of them. And we're like, um, the main one? <laughs> Like, it's like that's what they wanted to do with the Gold Coast thing. And it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> things happen naturally. Oh my god, that's sick! I literally feel like we're going Yeah, I know. Okay, we just finished up at Gymshark, had a really nice lunch. It's now like two o'clock. 
Elise and I are just walking over to Lounge because it's in like the same vicinity. Oh, she's a bit freezing. Lounge is up there. But, oh my God. The wind. It's the oh wind. God. It's the wind that just cuts straight through. <laughs> my hair is being very annoying today. Our train is at four o'clock. So we've got to make sure we're back there in time. wild because it's so bright outside I will never get used to the fact that it, the sun sets and like apparently in the summertime it sets even later that's just insane today's probably the first day where we're both not absolutely exhausted at 5 p.m. so we're gonna actually go out to dinner tonight not sure where to go yet I feel like I need to sit down and start editing like some of the footage that I got gonna chill out for a second get dressed and then probably decide where we go and everything like that but this is what I wore to Gymshark these jeans by the way are actually Elise's they're from Glassons they're really nice I think I'm gonna get myself a pair and then I wore a Gymshark my hair is being so weird. I don't know if it's because the water is different, but it feels like I need to wash it. I feel like there's like a lot of product in it when there's not really. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Anyway. We're currently in Boots and we're gonna go to Harrods today. Got the slick back hair. I'm very embarrassed. I can't public vlog. I'm not very good at it, but let's go. Okay, it is just after five. <laughs> they put out all our dirty clothes in bags and they put like a laundry thing on top of it. I'm like, we are not doing oh, that. Oh, yeah. I'll give you that. I'll, oh my God, why do I feel like I'm, I'm literally feel like I'm Dude, we've like, not, you've not drunk water. I know. Yeah. We've just had massive days. We need like one shield. We're but not. Like I feel yeah. like, I don't know, it's weird. Right? We just got back from M&S Food Hall, which is very nice, very nice. We found one M&S Food Hall and we can't find it again. We don't know what it was, but it was beautiful. It's somewhere. Got some blueberries. When we were in Harrods, I got these like little, kind of like rice paper rolls, but I just got a sandwich. I think we might go to Wagamama's for dinner if we're not too exhausted. I got oh, some baby cucumbers a kombucha some carrots i hope these ones taste better than the ones i got from like where did we go tesco Ooh, they, were bad. they tasted really bad and then oh no my hummus i think this is the one that shinsio raves about she i think she always talks about the hummus from m and i thought we'd give her a go so that is the food haul actually let's try i want to tell <laughs> the way you <laughs> Your English viewers that I love how they do like vegetable sushi. Right. Like we don't do that. You can get like veggie tempura. What's that? I don't know. It's it's like fatty like, vegetables. But they do like just they do veggies. Like, like carrot sticks and stuff in it. It's delicious. True. Well, the little rice paper rolls that I had at Harrods were fire. Mm. But I don't know if we were stupid, but there was like the food hall in Harrods and I don't know if you can, you can't eat in the in the food hall. I think it's just meant for getting food and then going, but I wanted to eat my food. <laughs> so we went and stood out the front of Harrods. I ate my rice paper rolls and I went back inside. <laughs> okay, this is the hummus taste test that I always hear. Didn't hear right about. What's it taste like hummus? Wait. That's good hummus. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really good. Mm. Mm. 
Good. Mmm. There's something on that. You'd hope so. <laughs> Some kind of flavor. What the hell? I'm so used to snacking all the time. So obviously we've just been on the go constantly. So we haven't been able to do that. So, wow. I haven't had veggies. Well, I have, but not to the extent that I normally eat. Oh, wow. Quite phenomenal. Mm. Oh my God. I'll wait, but will this go up before I get home? I'll show you the things that aren't surprises for people. Okay. This is a surprise for someone, so I'm sorry I can't show you. And so, so all the other little gifts, but cute. Can you see we them? went to what was it called? Like I don't know. I got them these pants in like a like a lighter color. Right. So they're really cute. Cargo pants. They which, fit really well because they're not too high waisted. Yeah. I figured out that I hate like really high rise jeans. I feel like I've also come to that conclusion. Like I'm I'm, a, I'm about the mid rise in the moment. It's funny how trends really do. Oh, for sure they do. And then in like what ten years time we're gonna be like. Again. But I feel like I've been in high waist jeans since I was like 11. Mm. And then, oh, okay. I've been looking for this perfume in stores for ages so that I could actually smell it before I bought it. Because mm. I saw it on a TikTok where they were like, smell again. perfumes that turn heads kind of thing. The perfume haul. I think I literally saw every perfume mm. on this planet was in that perfume haul. It's so beautiful. It they only had the 50 mil, not the 75, but I mean, I can always order it online. Mm. Mm. It's so like fresh. Yeah. That'll be a nice wedding perfume. I feel like I'm the last person on the planet to try the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless. I was gonna get the skin foundation, but I thought I would get this. I'm pretty sure Jazz used this for my birthday. I got the color six neutral. My tan is, uh, surprisingly, it's, mm. It doesn't look too terrible, but I did my best. And then I got the color three in the flawless filter, Hollywood thingy. Got those two. Um, and then this was my <laughs> spoiling myself purchase for the trip. This is the Mace, Maison, I can't say it. The Baccarat Rouge 540, which is the one that everyone raves about. If I were to describe it, I would describe it as cloud. I can smell it on other people and it makes me like go, <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is phenomenal. So, and then, well, I got those, these pants. So they're kind of like quite thin, almost like cargo pants. Cause I feel like they're very trendy at the moment. Like everyone here is wearing them. We went to Universal, I, not Universal, <laughs> Urban Outfitters. It gives the same vibe as Universal. I really like everything in there, but I don't know. I, when it comes to actually picking specific items, there's nothing that like I'm particularly drawn to, but I did see these and I thought they look very cute. I wanted to get like the matching hoodie, but I couldn't see one in there in the pink because I feel like the pink hoodie and the pink trackies would be so cute together. Paris Hilton vibes. <sighs> that is everything, I think. And now we're back here. Yeah, like I said, it's already 5.28, so I'm probably going to chill out for a bit. <laughs> Saturday. Sorry if it's really loud, but gotten up. We are walking to the station. We're gonna get the tube to have coffee with my cousin. So I haven't seen her, I think, literally since I was, I don't even know how old, but it's been a very long time. So it'd be nice. We're going to like a part of the city that we haven't really been to before yet. Really nice weather today. I feel like we've been so blessed. Um, like the sun's out, it's not too cold. I got on my blazer, this like blue shirt, jumper, Lisa's in a puffer. This is the sun, sunny London. We figured out that like a roundabout type of situation is called a circus. So we've come to, what's this called? Something circus. We just finished brunch with- Why Do you want so me in this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished brunch with my cousin and now we're gonna go to What's it called? The British Museum. The British Museum. So very excited. Oh, that's so exciting, guys. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Stop. It's just. I really want to grab one. It's just. <laughs> oh, oh my god, they're like not scared at all. Cute little sound of music situation over there. The hills. <laughs> I need to get better at vlogging in public, even though there's there's literally no one around. <laughs> Breakfast was actually really good. The food was good. Coffee. Not great. I still haven't had a very nice coffee yet, but that's alright. So.
it's now like 3.30. I really love the foundation that I got. The Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's very glowy and I need to retan tonight. I think that'll be tonight's task. Um, just because we're going to be going out tomorrow. We've just had a bit of an outfit change because we needed to come back, go to the toilet because we couldn't find one and we were both quite busting. The shirt from White Fox that I always wear, these are the pants that I got yesterday. And then these are Elisa's Docs. It's really not hot at all. It's like quite... Wait. It's really not cold at all, not hot, but as soon as the sun goes down, it's probably going to get very cold. So I'm just going to bring my blazer just in case. 